めて。So I just got out of the doctor's office and basically the ultrasound lady, she really couldn't tell me much because obviously like she's just the, the one that does it. She's not the one that gives me the results. I have to go back now at one after lunch hour for them. And basically I have to talk to the doctor and he's gonna tell me the results. He's gonna tell me if the baby's measuring fine, which I'm really scared about. I have been having a lot of like kind of like panic attacks but not full-on like panic attacks but kind of like panic attacks because I, I just feel like not that there's something wrong but I'm scared of something being wrong and so yeah I don't know I'm just scared of a lot of things this pregnancy but they're gonna tell me how it is I saw the baby I saw it move but I couldn't record I asked her if I could record because I didn't want to get like a crappy video and she told me that they don't allow that so I don't know how like famous youtubers do it maybe they go to like a private one and then they let them do it but these public ones don't let you do it so whatever um i didn't feel like doing any crimes today so i didn't get a picture of the baby or not as of yet but they're gonna print one out for me like after the doctor sees it he's gonna give me one and i'll show you guys but the baby was moving a lot it was so cool to see the baby move and you know feel him move at the same time it was really cool there's a lot of things i'm really scared about this pregnancy like a lot of things and I don't know why, but I, I'm, I'm a lot more scared of giving birth, of just carrying this baby, of everything being okay with this baby than I ever was before. But something really weird that I have noticed that they don't do anymore, at least, I don't know, they just don't do it with me anymore, is that every time I come here now to uh, an ultrasound appointment or just an appointment with the doctor, OB, whatever, they don't require me to pee in a cup anymore. Like, they don't tell me to, oh, oh, nope, nope, that's a, nope, backing up backing up that's a lizard backing up but anyways they don't test my urine anymore i don't know why they used to do it maybe it was like an old rule of them it's weird they don't tell me to use the bathroom before i go into the appointment they just take me inside the room and then the doctor just sees me because i remember with leo they used to do that a lot with oliver they did that especially covid they did that but i don't know why they just haven't been doing that so maybe they changed the rules or something but that's really weird i noticed that today i was like hmm I have to pee, should I wait? And then so they never asked, so I just I just went. What's here? I'm in the appointment now, the second one appointment. So it was first the ultrasound one, and then now the doctor tells me the results. They're doing construction downstairs. So I think they heard me when I was outside talking about the urine sample that I didn't have to do, because now, they got me drinking water because I have to do it. So let's let's try to make something come up.
to the baby. So we're home and I washed my hair. I needed it. It's like wavy. I want to iron it again because it looks so nice. But now we're going to go do laundry. So let's go. about done and then we're gonna go home it's been a very long day So it's the next day and we're about to iron my hair. We have nowhere to go, but I just feel like ironing my hair. So let's talk, let's chit chat for a second. Yesterday at my appointment, there's a lot that was said. Um, so I'm already 23 weeks. I didn't know that, but yeah, I was 23 weeks exactly yesterday. I forget. I feel like there's just so much to keep track of now, like with three kids and all that, that it's, like, it's a lot of work. And yesterday we had, so many appointments to go to and we ended up doing laundry too which was something we always do on mondays and we like we cannot stop or it's gonna form into like a crazy mountain of laundry so we can't miss a monday basically i had an ultrasound at 11 and then i had to go back at one after their lunch and that's when the doctor was going to tell me how the baby was if everything was okay during the ultrasound they did all the measurements the doctor told me that the ultrasound that they do they don't check for like a hundred percent everything regarding the baby but they do like see like the major stuff see like if everything's in there if he's forming okay and um he told me that he was like the baby is fine he's growing fine which was something that i was so scared about just because i don't know this pregnancy like i feel like i have a lot more knowledge and i'm just so scared i'm so scared of this pregnancy more than i've ever been in the past which is so weird because this is like my third so you think i would like already have the hang in this pregnancy thing but no then he also told me that in about a month i have to go back and i have to do the, the glucose test and <laughs> like immediately i was like hold on hold on is there anything else i can do instead of the test i know that with my second baby i did something else i did the i had to like poke myself i don't know what it's called but i had to basically poke myself in the finger like every day for like a couple weeks how high my sugar was and all that and that's basically what i did instead of the drink he told me that i had three options so i didn't have to decide on just one like i had options he told me that there was a one hour test and then there was a three hour fasting test so i had one hour to drink it for one and then I had to fast for three hours for the other test, but that was just, yeah, that was just a lot. But it just like hit me, like I'm about to be almost 30 weeks. That's insane. This pregnancy is flying and I am not okay with it. 
So let's talk about symptoms right now, like my pregnancy symptoms so far. For my first trimester, I was feeling a lot of nausea, like a lot of nausea. And then I started feeling out of nowhere, like no motivation to do anything. I'm still fighting with myself about the no motivation because I have like two other kids and they want to be outside and you know, so I'm fighting with myself every day to get out of bed and do something fun with them. But yeah, it's it's still kind of there. Still pushing myself to make videos because I know this pregnancy is going to fly. And I just want to have all the memories I can and have fun memories with the kids I have right now before I add another one. And so it's just, it's been hard. After seeing, oh my god, I haven't thrown up in a while. After noticing, I started throwing up. <laughs> I don't know why, but that happened and yeah i was like basically my first trimester now i'm starting to get like these weird numbness in my legs and then it starts tingling kind of like it's asleep like my legs are asleep but yeah so that's that's what i've been feeling yeah so i told them about that feeling in my legs the tingling the numbness the literally it's like, like it feels like my legs are asleep and it's just it's so weird and he told me that it might be because of my stomach. Um, I did tell him that I noticed my stomach really low already. Something that I haven't noticed before in my other pregnancies. I know our bodies changes and they get bigger and wider with each pregnancy because you know, you're just growing babies in there. So I know my body was gonna look different this time around, but I did not expect my belly to look this low this early on. He said that it might be something with my hips and that I might need like physical therapy if wearing a belly band doesn't work, yoga stretches, if those don't work, then I'm gonna need like physical therapy or something for my hips. But I'm gonna try as hard as I can to avoid that because I am a stay-at-home mom and it's just who has the time, right? Like who has the time? It's starting to be hard to fall asleep at night. I don't know, I just, it's been hard lately. I'm thinking about cutting my hair a little bit shorter. But I definitely do want to cut some of my bangs because I do like bangs now. So I kind of like how they look, but they're a little long and I left them long on purpose in case I did not like them. But now I do, so now I'm going to cut them shorter so they can be like real bangs now instead of like whatever I had. Okay. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. Yep. We're doing this. I don't know how short I should do it, but we're doing this. I feel like I should wet it, but I'm, I don't know. Last time I twisted it. So maybe I should do that again. I mean, this doesn't look too bad. I just feel like it's not even. I don't know. I'll ask my mom over the weekend to help me with it because I obviously can't do it. See how the like the middle just parts? Why does it do that? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Oh my god, why is it doing that? But anyways yeah that's gonna be all for this video i have a lot of clothes to fold because of the laundry yesterday so wish me luck on that bye